Have you ever accidentally deleted the wrong photo from your PC? Or emptied your recycle bin not realizing that an important folder was in it? Unfortunately, it only takes a single mouse click to lose a file. But luckily, there are a number of ways for you to recover that lost data. I'm here today with Arthi of TuneUp to discuss the best ways to go about restoring those lost files or folders. So Arthi, thanks for taking the time to talk with us today. Of course, thanks for having me. It's our pleasure. So today you'll explain three of the best ways to restore lost data, like deleted documents or photos. Is that correct? Yes, absolutely. I'll also discuss how to repair damaged files and folders. Great, so what's the first thing you should do if you experience data loss? Well, you might be surprised to hear this, but the first step you should take is to actually do nothing. Wow, I'm sure many of our listeners did not expect that to be the answer. Why shouldn't you do anything when you initially lose data? Well, all sorts of write operations in the hard disk or flash drive in question should be immediately avoided. The reason behind this is that deleted files are never actually erased or destroyed. Oh really? That's interesting. So where exactly does the file go? The moment you get rid of a file, for example by emptying the recycling bin, only the pointer to that specific file is deleted. In other words, this means that your picture or Excel spreadsheet will not show up in Windows Explorer anymore, but your data will remain intact. And what happens to the data at this point? Well, let's say you accidentally deleted a photo or Excel file. The Windows file system will mark it as overwritable. If a new program is installed, new files are copied over, or new data is created on your hard disk, the deleted file might be fully or partially overwritten, and in the latter click case, it'll be damaged. Oh no, that doesn't sound good. You definitely don't want to accidentally destroy a file that could be restored. Exactly. You want to make sure to prevent that from happening. Sounds good. So should we dive into the best options for recovering lost data? Sure, but first I'd like to make a recommendation. Before you start the repair process, make sure you go back Make sure you back up your entire disk, or if that's not possible due to too many errors, copy all of the important data onto an external hard drive or burn it onto a disk. Great, thanks for that tip. Are there any tools available that users should know about that might come in handy when recovering lost data? Yes. Depending on your situation, the following tools may be helpful when restoring your lost or damaged data. First, for those looking for a tool to easily rescue files from a hard disk, USB drive, or camera card, TuneUp's Undelete feature is one of the many great options available. It's part of TuneUp Utilities, which you can get as a free trial. That sounds easy enough, but what about recovering data on damaged CDs or DVDs? Right. Error correction in today's disk drives, you know, from CD, CDs, DVDs, or Blu-rays is great, but it can perform miracles. If you're trying to access the files in Windows Explorer and the only thing you hear is a drive spinning around, I recommend using the CD Recovery Toolbox to get your data and find out if it's recoverable. Okay, is this an option that's worked for you in the past? It has. I tried the free tool, which is capable of restoring CDs, DVDs, and Blu-rays on three discs that were more than seven years old and heavily scratched. And guess what? It worked flawlessly. Okay, good. That's reassuring. And what do you do if you've fallen victim to files that won't open or just suddenly go missing? In this situation, try using Windows built-in disk checker. If you're lucky, this is just a case of some bad drive sectors that can easily be repaired. If you need some more help with this, it's all written down at TuneUp's blog about Windows, which is at blog.tune-up.com. Good to know. And how long does this process typically take? Depending on your hard disk, this can take a couple of hours. All your files should come back as good as new. But watch out for further errors, because if problems persist, persist um, there's likely a hard disk defect. Okay, that process doesn't sound too terrible. No, not at all. It's certainly worth it to get your important files back and your PC up and running smoothly again. Absolutely. Well, Arthi, thanks so much for taking the time to explain these three methods for recovering lost data to us. It was my pleasure. And make sure again to visit the TuneUp blog about Windows. Again, the URL is blog.tune-up.com. There you'll find more tips and tricks for restoring lost data and repairing damaged files. And of course, you can always find information there on how to keep your PC running smoothly. Great, I will do that. Thanks again, Arthi. We appreciate the great advice. Sure, I look forward to chatting again soon.